In this lesson, we are going to talk about how to solve equations using combining like terms. So to start with, we're going to go ahead and draw our wall. And the next thing we need to do is combine any terms that are like terms. So I'm going to start by circling the terms that have the x's on them. Those are called like terms. And what we need to do is look at the coefficients and either add or subtract them according to what we have. So since we have a negative 5 and a positive 3, we're going to subtract them, and we get 2x, and we have more negatives, so we have negative 2x. And then I'm going to copy down the plus 6. And then I'm going to copy down my equals 8. Okay, so now we have a two-step equation. So now, just like we've solved every other two-step equation, we're going to start by getting rid of the term that is furthest away from our x. So that would be the 6 here. So I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. These cancel, and I get negative 2x equals 2. And then for the final step, I need to undo this multiplication here. So I'm going to divide by negative 2. These cancel, and I get x equals 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. So that is my answer. Okay, so now in this example, I am going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to draw my wall, and I'm going to start by circling the x terms and putting those together. So the coefficient here is 1. And so if I put together negative 6 and negative 1, those both have the same sign, so I'm going to add them, and I get negative 7x. And then I'm going to put together my terms, my constants, which do not have variables. So I have positive 2 and negative 3, and since those signs are different, I'm going to subtract them, and I get 1, and I have more negatives, so negative 1. And I'm going to copy everything else down. So now it's a two-step equation, so I need to start by getting rid of everything else besides the x, and I'm going to get rid of what's furthest from the x. So the minus 1 is furthest from the x, so I'm going to add 1 to both sides. These cancel, and I get negative 7x equals 8. So for the final step now, I'm going to undo this multiplication here by dividing by negative 7. These cancel, and I get x equals so positive divided by negative is negative, and now I'm going to set up my long division here. 7 goes into 8 one time, so that's my big number over here. 1 times 7 is 7, subtract, we have a remainder of 1, so 1 seventh. So the answer is negative 1 and 1 seventh. We're going to go ahead and take a look at another example. Okay, and so here I'm going to go ahead and again draw my wall. And I'm going to circle my x terms. Okay, and so I need to put those together. Negative 1 and negative 5 make negative 6, because I'm going to add them together. And then I'm going to put together my constants, 8 plus 3. Oh, and that should be negative 6x, sorry. 8 plus 3 is 11. And then I'm going to put my 14 here. All right, so now I'm going to try to get x alone, and I get rid of what's furthest from x first. So I'm going to subtract 11 from both sides, and I get 3 equals negative 6x. And then for the final step, I'm going to undo my multiplication, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6. These cancel, and I get x equals, and 3, 6, both of these can be divided by 3, so this simplifies to 1 half. And positive divided by negative is negative. So the answer here is negative 1 half equals x. All right, we're going to take a look at wall. So in this one, again, we're going to draw our wall. And I'm going to put together my like terms. So now this time I only have one set of x's. So I'm actually going to put together my constants first. Negative 5 and negative 6 is negative 11. And I'm going to bring down the plus 2x and bring down my negative 2. All right, so now it's a two-step equation. So I'm going to solve for x, and I'm going to get rid of what's furthest from x first. So I'm going to add 11 to both sides. 
Since these signs are different, I'm going to subtract and I get 9, positive 9. These cancel and I have 2x. And then finally, I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to undo this multiplication here. And I can set up my long division. 2 fits into 9 4 times, so that's my big number. 4 times 2 is 8. Subtract and I have a remainder of 1 out of 2. So x equals 4 and a half. So there is an example. Those are some examples of how you would solve equations using multi or solve equations using combining like terms.